killing people by pulling balloons and holding up guns. But no one believed him. The clown was so angry that he asked the security guard to help him shout. People laughed even harder. So he shot himself in the ceiling. And that's when they realized what was going on. The manager rushed to set off the alarm. The clown raises his gun to warn people. As the bank clerk loaded the money, the man next to him said it was his money. He hadn't put it in the bank yet. So the clown had the bank clerk make a deposit for the man. He puts the people in the bank vault. The guard gives the key to the joker. And then he went into the vault himself. After the hostages were taken care of, Joker had the bank manager call the police. Then he was going to blow up the bank's security cameras. But he missed. He used the security guard's gun to do it. The crowd outside the bank was getting bigger and bigger. The cops called the Joker to negotiate. The Joker puts forward his own conditions. Every time he fulfills one of his conditions, he'll release a hostage. A helicopter arrived. The Joker asked them to vote on who to let out. Then the man in the corner threw up. Everyone smoked out. So the man was let out of the bank. The police called the Joker. But no one answered. At that moment, the three men who were released got together. They were a team. They managed to get the money out of the bank. In order to stall for time, Jack called the police, said the monster truck was too small. He asked for a new one. But when he hung up the phone, Rod suddenly honked the car horn. The cops realized what was going on. So they rushed into the bank. There was nothing but balloons. The three of them hurriedly drove to the airport, but they got lost. They met a man with a map on the side of the road. They didn't realize he was a robber. As a result, the three of them only had four dollars. They were taunted. Jack said the watch he was holding was worth a lot of money. But the man didn't believe him, so he took their suitcases. They had to go back to get their clothes. When they got to their house, they realized there was no parking space. They circled the building five or six times. Annie told him to park in the fire lane. Turns out the three of them had tied the money to their bodies when they changed their clothes and got ready to run. The building across the street was on fire. The three robbers parked next to a fire hydrant. There was a fire. So the firefighters broke the glass of the car and pushed the car to the side, but the car slid away. It went into a ditch. The three of them had to take a taxi to the airport. They didn't realize the driver didn't know the way. He was also red-green color blind. He ran red lights all the way to the airport. Rod was so scared that he rushed out of the car, he hit the wall and fainted. Jack and Annie grabbed Rod and ran. They got into a gangster's den by accident. Jack starts to talk him down. And the gangster was fooled. So the three of them got a lot more money. Then they boarded the plane. While they were looking for their seats, Chuck came up with a gun in his hand. Suddenly, a man came out of nowhere. Turns out he's the boss. Chuck came on the plane to get him. He fought with him straight away. Jack saw that he wasn't after him. So he gave Chuck a hand. When the boss was picking up his gun, Annie opened the door. He was knocked unconscious. They caught the local gangsters. The cops were so happy. They kept thanking Jack. And that was that. The three of them escaped. And lived happily ever after.